Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be teaching you all how to add and install fonts and brushes. Uh, the two sites that we're going to, going to be focusing on will be dafont.com and deviantart.com. I'll put that in the description so you guys can check it out. Um, what you're going to want to do to get new fonts is head over to dafont.com. Uh, you can search through all the various fonts they have. As you can see, there's tons of tons of um, subsections here for fonts. Or if you have a specific font in mind that you know the name of, here's the search bar. Type it in. Um, just for the sake of this video, I'm gonna choose any random font. Um, mm, that's weird. Uh, okay. Pick old London. Uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download it and then save it to your desktop. Once you've done that, it should be a zip file. Um, and then you're going to want to uh, extract it and then open it up with Adobe Photoshop CS4 or 5 or 3 or whatever you're using. You can right click on it and click open with and it should automatically load up. Um, once you have those extracted, you're good to go. It will automatically save on your on your uh, Photoshop, and whenever you want to pick that font, it'll be there for you. TVArt.com. Here we go. Uh, this site has so many different graphical things: C4D renders, brushes, all that good stuff. Um, <clears throat> in the search box, type in Photoshop brushes. And then click enter. If you want, you can register for their site. You can register for the font too, I believe. Yep, yes, you can. Uh, once you've decided on a brush, this one looks neat. Fractal brushes set. You also, like before, you're going to download this file, save it to your desktop. And then there should be a zip file, and then extract that, and then you'll have an icon with the brushes' names on it. It should say Fractal Brushes Set in this case, or something like that. Uh, you're going to want to right click that icon and then click Install. By default, it should be Adobe Photoshop CS4 or CS5 or whatever program you're using. And you're good to go. It'll automatically load, and underneath your brushes, you'll have a new set of brushes. And whatever brush you picked here is the new brush you'll have. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to rate, subscribe, comment, whatnot, all that good stuff. And please feel free to request videos for me. I'll make whatever you guys need. At least I'll try my, my best to. If not, I'll learn how to do it. But I'm pretty sure I'll be able to. Okay? Have a good day. Graphics.